cooperating today. Like, I've got the strand right here. Whatever, we're just gonna do it. Hi guys, welcome back to the Black Travel Nurse. It is Sierra, and as you may or may not know, I am a full-time travel nurse and a full-time nurse practitioner student. So this week I'm starting clinicals and I wanted to bring you guys a video to show you um, to first do a review on this lab coat and number two to show you how I remix my outfits in order to get business attire, I mean business professional, business casual outfits because we're sticking to our budgets 2019 even though I've been bad already, whatever. So um, this video is not just for nurse practitioner students, it's for any medical professional or um, anyone that dresses like business casual, business professional to work, to be honest, because you can just lose the lab coat and then do your thing. If you are not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and join the family. Give us a thumbs up right now. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. First, this lab coat. Now this lab coat is called Medalita? <laughs> Medalita? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put the link below. Honestly, how do I have a degree? But <laughs> I think it's Medalita and it's pretty pricey. It's over $100. I got it on sale, um, I think for like Black Friday or something. But it's definitely, I think the original price is like $160. I'll link it below. I just hate seeing dingy lab coats. Like I hate seeing people walk around with like off-white or like tan lab coats. I'm like, Ew. <laughs> so I did not I did not want to be that person. So I decided to get this stain resistant lab coat. Um, I got the long lab coat. We had the option of getting long or short. Also it has huge pockets. So I think I'll be like carrying around, I'll definitely be carrying around little books and pocket guides, but I think I'll be carrying around my iPad too. Gotta catch up on the bachelor during lunchtime. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but so here's my iPad. Um, I don't think it'll fit with the case. But I'm pretty sure, I think it said that it fits iPad. I'm pretty sure that it'll fit um, without the case. Yep, so it fits right in there. And I can just, you know, pull it up, look up some drug stuff, do whatever I gotta do, and slip my iPad back in. Hopefully I don't drop it, because I'd be pissed. Well, I just mainly got this because of the name. I see it everywhere. It's stain resistant and it has huge pockets. All right, now as far as outfits, I'll go through each outfit and tell you like where I got it from and how I put things together. But I first want to give you like guidelines that I have for myself when I pick out work clothing. Um, this is not to offend anybody. This is just what I think about before I go to work, like what I think about wearing and how I think about putting my outfits together. With that being said, number one, everything needs to be iron or dry clean. Number two, nothing is extremely form fitting. Now, I work in a hospital and I'm doing my clinicals. Right now, I'm doing my clinicals in a doctor's office, but ultimately I'll be in the hospital. Uh, so I need to be bending and squatting and doing all this stuff and I don't need to be having clothing, clothing that's so tight up on my skin to where I can't move like don't get me wrong I love form-fitting clothing but not for work like I need to be able to have room to breathe to do pretty much any move that I need to do now with that being said some of my pants may be tighter than others um, but you'll never see me have on pants where if I bend down all the way to the ground, you can see my underwear or something like that. It'll never, never be like that. Which brings me to number three. My pants fit perfectly for the most part. And sometimes I have to go to the seamstress a lot of times actually because I have a really small waist. Um, and I don't want like that extra pocket in the front or pocket in the back. And number four, you can't see my undergarments. Like if I'm wearing a shirt, um, I'll either have like, that's kind of like maybe a little bit see-through, not see-through, but sheer. I'll have like a black undershirt under it or black um, underclothing. Without further ado, let's get right into the outfit. So this outfit, this is a sheer shirt. I'll kind of show you. This is a sheer shirt um, from Zara Snakeskin. Um, and then uh, I paired it with the suede khaki pants, like this like hunter green khaki, um, whatever, it's like a green color. Um, and yeah, so I probably got these pants maybe three, four years ago, I'm not gonna lie, and I still wear it. Then I got this shirt late summer, 
Um, and it was like a whole snakeskin outfit and I just switched it to go with these pants. And then I just have regular shoes on. I'll be wearing these shoes. <laughs> My feet are big. I'll be wearing these shoes for every outfit because I did not pack that many business attire shoes. I only brought one. They're from Aldo and they're black and they're just flat. So yeah, this is outfit number one. All right, so here's the next outfit. I kind of want to show you guys far first and then come up close. Um, I actually don't have the shoes on now. I forgot to put them on. But so this is a turtleneck. Let me show you guys. So this is a turtleneck, and these are high-waisted, I guess, plaid pants. They have a little house to them, them actually. But um, yeah, it's black, and the pants are black and white. This shirt is from Misguided, and I got the pants maybe two years ago from So So Rella. I wear this turtleneck with everything, to be honest. Also, too, I was just preaching about. <laughs> how you cannot see my bras um, through my clothing. But still, even with this shirt, it can be a little bit sheer, like when it hits the light. It's not sheer, but I mean, you can see through it just a little bit. So I, especially since it's the winter, I'll definitely pair this like with a black undershirt too. Uh, again, same shirt, different pants. These pants, I don't know where they are from, honestly. Um, my mom got me these for Christmas, maybe two years ago, and I never wore them. She will be so upset when she sees this. These are a little bit more form-fitting, but they're not too form-fitting. They're actually, you can't really see in the camera, they are blue and black pants. Um, so I think it, it works with the black shirt. This is probably the last time you guys have seen this black shirt. Um, but this is with jeans. So like, say you're going in on a Friday and they have casual Fridays. These are just some nice dark wash jeans. These jeans are from J. Crew. Um, actually, my best friend's mother gave me these jeans. So this is a little bit more dressy. Um, this is pretty much my go-to business professional outfit, to be honest with you. But it is a white or off-white shirt for that matter um, with like little black linings on it um, with some black and white pants. And I love it. I got both of these items from Express. They have pockets too. I love pockets. So obviously this outfit will be pressed or dry cleaned. Um, it doesn't look that bad now, but I mean in person I can see the wrinkles. So I would definitely try to press this myself. Sometimes like I'll, I have a bunch of shirts like these and I would just get them all dry cleaned and then have them ready for me to wear. It just fits well, it looks good to me at least. Um, so yeah. All right guys, so those are my outfits that I will wear for clinicals. Um, hopefully you liked them. I just showed you some things and you can mix and match and I will definitely mix it and match and everything. If you have not done so already, please like, comment, share, subscribe and we will see you next time. 